Hello again, everyone. Now we're coming to the first Sunday of September, and here are the readings for September the 3rd, 2023, in our lectionary cycle of readings. This is proper 22 of year A. A reading from Exodus, chapter 3, verses 1 to 15. Now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the far side of the desert and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Most High appeared to him in flames of fire from within the bush. Moses saw that though the bush was on fire, it did not burn up. So Moses thought, I will go over and see this strange sight, why the bush does not burn up. When the Most High saw that he had gone over to look, God called to him from within the bush, Moses, Moses. And Moses said, Here I am. Do not come any closer, God said. Take off your sandals, for the place where you are standing is holy ground. Then he said, I am the God of your ancestor, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. At this, Moses hid his face, because he was afraid to look at God. The Most High said, I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt. I have heard them crying out because of their slave drivers and I am concerned about their suffering. So I have come down to rescue them from the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land into a good and spacious land, a land flowing with milk and honey, the home of the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites. And now the cry of the Israelites has reached me, and I have seen the way the Egyptians are oppressing them. So now, go. I am sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? And God said, I will be with you, and this will be the sign to you that it is I who have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this mountain. Moses said to God, Suppose I go to the Israelites and say to them, The God of your ancestors has sent me to you. And they ask me, What is the name of that God? Then what shall I tell them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. God also said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, The Most High, the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever, the name by which I am to be remembered from generation to generation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Romans, chapter 12, 9 to 21. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil, cling to what is good. Be affectionately devoted to one another. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with God's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. 
Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everybody. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my friends, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, it is mine to avenge, I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil but overcome evil with good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Chapter 16, verses 21 to 28. From the time that Peter recognized him as the Messiah, Jesus began to explain to his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things at the hands of the elders, chief priests, and teachers of the law, and that he must be killed, and on the third day be raised to life. Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. Never, Lord, he said. This shall never happen to you. Jesus turned to Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block to me. You do not have in mind the things of God, but things of humankind. Then Jesus said to his disciples, if any, would come, if any would come after me, they must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, but those who lose their life for me will find it. What good will it be to gain the whole world and yet forfeit one's soul? Or what can one give in exchange for one's soul? For the human one is going to come in the Father's glory with the angels, and then will reward each person according to what each has done. I tell you the truth, some who are standing here will not taste death before they see the human one coming in the heavenly kingdom. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, we look forward to Sunday, and I pray that as you listen to, meditate on these readings, that God's Spirit will speak to you. Join us Sunday morning. Our live stream begins at 10.15 with music and preludes, and then the service itself at 10.30. God bless you all.